Rwanda's star attraction is the endangered mountain gorillas of Volcanoes National Park. Our journey to the mountains began at sunrise. Visits are very tightly limited. They only allow about 56 people per day in to see these creatures. And we drive past three particularly dramatic volcanoes on the way in. We passed a group of soldiers out for their morning run. There are about eight of us, tourists from all over Europe and the United States. Make your gorilla noises. Come on, everybody. We assembled early in the morning and walked into the jungle. The hike to see the gorillas can take anywhere from half an hour to three hours, walking through farms and very thick jungle. You're accompanied by armed guards, in large part to deter poachers. The family of gorillas we went to see is named the Sabinho family, and it's known for having the oldest silverback in the world. His name is Gohundo, which means, literally, the one who beats his chest. In English, he's called Boss, a fitting name for the 34-year-old, 400-pound monster. There's also a baby gorilla in the clan, a playful two-year-old nicknamed Big Ben. By nature, the mountain gorillas are not aggressive creatures. Mostly, they eat bamboo. They're vegetarians. At the same time, these are animals in the wild. There are no barriers in the jungle, and you get the very real feeling that you're not in a zoo. Okay. <laughs> Come here. Come this way. Please, please. <laughs> Come here. These gorillas are very rare. There are only several hundred left in the jungles of Rwanda and in neighboring Uganda and Congo. Mugawa, you won't get